And so what are these? Well, if you look inside the bone, um, there is the, the bone marrow. And the bone marrow, really that spongy stuff, is really a lot of different cells, a lot of different cells that are in there. Very, very heterogeneous population of cells. One group of cells um, are those cells at the top, the stem cells. And those make the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. There are also these smaller cells called lymphocytes, so lymph gland cells. And they start, they are born in the bone marrow. They go to the lymph glands that you can find in your neck and in your armpits. Um, and they help defend against bacteria and infections that occur locally. And the permanent residents of the bone marrow um, are the plasma cells. And unlike the lymphocytes, which go travel to infections, the plasma cells stay in the bone marrow and they fire antibody proteins towards infections. And so if the lymphocytes are the infantry, the artillery are the plasma cells, and they reside inside the bone marrow. But any of those cells can become cancerous. They can, when they get mutated, those stem cells become uh, leukemia, and it causes low red blood counts, low white counts, and low platelet counts. So a cancer of the bone marrow stem cell are leukemias. Okay. A cancer of the lymphocytes is called lymphoma. Um, and there those cells will grow out of control in the bone marrow, and then they will move to the lymph glands just like they would normally do, and then they cause the lymph glands to really uh, expand and become larger and sometimes painful. But the myeloma cells, um, the plasma cells, when they become malignant and they mutate, they actually stay in the bone marrow compartment and, but they'll produce lots of antibodies. And so the ana and these antibodies, unlike normal plasma cell antibodies, can't fight infection. In fact, mm -hmm. what they do is actually suppress the immune system and drown out the normal immune system, which leaves people open to infections. And those antibody proteins, we'll talk about this in a bit, they have what we call a heavy chain, which are named um, um, IgG, IgA, and IgM and light chain, which are called kappa and lambda. And we'll get back to that, why I mentioned the names of those proteins, because that's how they, that's really how we diagnose myeloma, is that we diagnose leukemia with a bone marrow, we diagnose lymphoma, taking out one of those lymph nodes, and we diagnose multiple myeloma. First, we screen for it by doing a blood test, looking for those antibody proteins produced by those malignant plasma cells.